Okay. Hi, I'm Kylie Swenson, editor of Remix Magazine, and I'm sitting here with Claude Mitchell, uh, the coordinating director of music at ESPN. And I want to just ask you a couple questions. Um, one, just if you could tell me a little bit about what kinds of, what does it mean to be the coordinating director of music? What do you do? Well, um, myself and the, the crew, my crew, we all work on uh, building the sound and the feel of ESPN. Um, uh, we do everything from uh, song, song suggestion, music, you know, coordinating music licensing, uh, sound design, hiring composers for themes and incidental music. Uh, we're kind of a one-stop shop for, you know, our, our, you know, our, our producers and production. So, like, who are a couple of artists you've recently placed? Ah, uh, let's see. Um, oh, good question. Good gosh, we we do so much, and it's just hard. I mean, it, it's everything from on the rock side, bands like Saliva and Aerosmith, um, down to Jay Z, um, you know, up and coming artists like Code Red, um, you know, bands like uh, punk bands like the Cartel, to you know, country acts like Big and Rich. You know, it's a real we, we, real broad gamut yeah. of material. But you probably don't do anything down tempo. It's all like really like get people going kind of music, right? Surprise! I mean, we, you know, that's that's kind of the misnomer of what what everybody thinks is that we do. You know, that everything has to be overdrive, overdriven, and yeah. really powerful. Um, for you know, that's usually tied to highlights uh, highlights on our shows. But we do an awful lot of features, so we do do a lot more down tempo stuff that. Uh, you know, it, that really trying to drive and evoke emotion. Okay. So we just had this panel in the uh, other room here. We're at SAE right now in New York uh, for the Remix Hotel 2007. And the panel is called Getting Your Music on Screen. So we talked to a lot of um, people in the industry about how to get your music in TV, film, on video games, uh, commercials. One of the things that Claude mentioned was that uh, he won't know what he needs until like 72 hours before something ends up on TV or less. So when, you know, obviously you work with a lot of people you know um, who are, you know, publishing companies and agencies, and what grabs you? I mean, how do you, what's a good pitch to get you to have that, you know, artist or, or agency person in your mind when you have to, like, you're down to the wire and you have to think of it? A lot of times it's it's, it's all about the music that they provide. Um, we do we do a lot of advanced work because everything's short turnaround. So there's a, you know, for us it's generating, a, whether it's a mental or physical list of material that fits in certain genres and artists that might work and work for us for different scenarios. Um, and building a database for ourselves that we can do as a quick a quick reference uh, musically. Um, half the time, it's all about the song. The other part is that someone may come to us with material that you know we're not sure we can use right away, but we've caught, you know they're they've presented it in a real real cohesive, compelling way, and will it'll stick with us and. Uh, an idea may come come up, and we're like, "Well, didn't that didn't that you know didn't so and so didn't Jonathan Fine have have something that was in that in that you know in that vibe? Let's go check check his stuff out again." Um, that's what we spend a lot of time doing. Um, so a lot of time, it's really important for you know when people are sending us material that it's it's smart, concise, and um, and you know at the end of the day, it's that the music's memorable. Great. Thank you so much for your time. Nice to meet you. <laughs> cool. Thanks.